In the comparator circuit, the circuit amplifies the voltage difference between the voltage at the plus and negative sides and outputs the result at V out. If V plus is greater than V minus, then the voltage at V out will rise to its positive saturation level, that is, to the voltage at the positive side which is controlled by the potentiometer. If V plus is lower than V minus, then V out will fall to its negative saturation level, equal to the voltage at the negative side, which is 2.5 volts. For the non-inverting amplifier, since we know that no current flows into the positive or negative terminals, we can say that V minus equals V plus. We can then solve for V minus as it is simply a voltage divider with the voltage source being V out. Then, because we know V plus is V in, we can rearrange the formula to find V out over V in, which is what we know to be the gain. This is my Arduino code for the Unity Gain amplifier. I set the baud rate, then I'm reading each analog pin, and I'm sending these readings to processing using string. Then I'm delaying by 50 milliseconds. In my processing code, I use the exact same code from my lab 5, except I changed the background color to gray, the length of my array to be 3, since we are looking at V in, V minus, and V out. Here you can see the horizontal lines and text, as well as the key, where I made V in a white circle, V minus a green circle, V out a blue circle, and V plus a yellow circle. Then when I run it, because V minus is connected to V out, you can only see the blue dot because it's covering the green dot. At lower voltages, we can see that V minus and V out are different than V in because the Arduino only supplies 0 to 5 volts and not negative 5 to 5 volts. When I adjust the potentiometer, V in goes up, so now they are all the same. For my Arduino code for the inverting amplifier, all I changed was I added a variable that reads V plus and then added it to the string. In my processing code, I changed my array length to 4 because now we are looking at V in, V minus, V out, and V plus. I made an integer for this and printed it to the screen. Then, when I run it and adjust the potentiometer, you can see that V out and V in are inversely proportional to each other. You can see that V in and V minus are relatively close to each other, but not exactly the same, and this is because of the voltage divider. To find V out of the integrating amplifier, I knew that V plus equals V minus, which equals zero. Then I was able to apply Kirchhoff's law at the node, and rearranging this, I was able to solve for V out. The code I used didn't change in either the Arduino or processing. All I changed was that I put a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and a capacitor in my circuit. So as we adjust the potentiometer, we are charging up the capacitor, which then causes the output to respond to this change in input voltage over time, as the op amp integrator produces an output voltage which is proportional to the integral of the input voltage.